We will start with the galley, very important uh, place in uh, Kilak, with a good spot to cook, electricity, no gas on board, big space here so I can make the delicious little uh, plates and everything, and we even have a washing machine over there and a big fridge. We can go further in the saloon. Here is one of the rest area uh, and the uh, dining place. And we also have this massive television. Why do we have that? Because it's amazing for the images in the evening, all the pictures that you will have taken. And we can also watch at a reportage and that kind of stuff, which are very interesting. Now let's go to the guest area, resting area. So here we have a very good uh, watertight door. And let's go to the end here first, which is the technical part that we call front storage. We store all the sails, Jennaker, etc., etc., the lines, and also uh, we have two big freezers and space for the veggies, etc. But let's go back to the warm now in the cabins. Let's have it. So we have two cozy cabins with sliding doors here. Come on in. Welcome. So this is cozy cabin for one or two person. If I have a second guest, I will put that down. And then we have, of course, the leak cloth to uh, avoid to fall when we are safe. Um, then we can open here. In each cabin we have the same. And you have a little sink. Of course, we have the safety equipment. We are high latitude boat, very important to have survival suits. And in each cabin as well, fire extinguisher. Let's go to the next cabin. Oh, here we are in the superior cabin. Bed is bigger, as you can see. Very good mattresses, of course. Back is important. And again, if it's two friends, we can lift this down and so they have two separate beds. We again have the little desk becoming a sink and of course a lot of cabinets. So you have space to organize your things. Follow me. And we go to the water area, which is a sharing area. You find there one urinal, two toilets, one ladies, one gents, and two showers. That's one of the shower. Hot water, of course. Then after a day of ski or hiking, you take a good shower. And what do you do after? You take a little sauna, of course. Very comfy, done for two persons, and uh, completely electrical, but it's a very good place. Welcome uh, on board of Kilak, and certainly on the deck of Kilak. It's a flush deck, and look how easy it is to walk. It's nice, it's comfortable. Then we have all the sail and we are coming next to the mast. We 
can carry up to 475 square meter of sail in light air. We kept a very wide uh, passageway while, as you can see here, we have the V1, the D1, it's a perfect place for the sheets, for the sails, for the crew and for the guests to walk freely. Now I will give you an idea of the side by just climbing on the deck here. Good bar to hold and take care of the main and why not carefully get down from it. Oh. Back on the deck, wide, comfortable. This is a very safe platform for crew to work while we have our guests. So there is dedicated place to work and dedicated place for the uh, guest. As it's plenty of space, very safe, is a very pleasant place to be. We have fantastic uh, wheels, very simple, with power control, with a compass, and from here, you in light air, you can sit and adjust. Easy to go on the other side and take over from the other side, and then suddenly you are at five meters from the initial point. While here you have all your guests taking a rest in between the winch, working here and there, while when it's under control, you can sit and dream. So yes, indeed, I'm very happy about the cockpit. Now we are in the last inside part of Kilak. As I said to you, there is a first resting area, which is also the dining area. And here we have the second one. It allows the people to have two different places so that they can relax here or downstairs. And here you relax with a view, which is the amazing thing. It's heated, of course, as well. So you can enjoy a cold day in the Arctic and see everything. It's uh, really helping when we want to uh, stay into uh, facing the wind. So because we go very low speed, so I can't very maneuver the boat otherwise. This is very helping.
with the orcas and the whales. Wow, my God. So that was completely my dream to see orcas, about like my whole life dream. And I have been super impressed by them, but I have to say that the emotion, the real super deep emotion came when I had uh, some uh, humpbacks, which is breathing on the side of the boat and come to say hi. And then I had my um, legs shaking. <laughs> 